Aya, this is Druid Cat. Welcome to my course. In today's episode, we'll be experimenting with the new open source High Dream model, which was recently added and uses as many as four text encoders, meaning it understands our prompts much better than Flux. However, I can say right from the start that the quality isn't very satisfying when it comes to realism. But don't worry, I'll show you a trick to fix that. And with the help of the Flux model, we'll be able to create hyper-realistic, highly detailed, crispy, high-quality images. It's a very useful tool. If you remember, in the previous episode, we created an influencer. With this workflow, we can easily generate a single high-quality photo of our influencer, which we can then use for LoRa training and create a data set from it by following the steps from the previous video. The advantage of the High Dream model is that it is very good at handling inscriptions at the same level as the current ChatGPT 4.0 model. Another advantage of using High Dream, as I mentioned earlier, is that it understands our prompts well, but the images usually have fewer errors, so it's better for working with multiple character details and maintaining the correct body proportions, number of fingers and hands. This is why it's an interesting starting point for our images. The workflow I'm going to present is very attractive because it allows us to get even better quality photos than just using Flux as a base. This course requires access to my Patreon materials. So I highly encourage you to support the channel to unlock full access to the custom templates, workflows, tools and bonus assets used throughout this tutorial. Step 1. In this episode, we'll be working on runpod.io. First, go to the site and create an account. As always, we'll top up $10 to keep it safe and low budget. I repeat this in every episode. But since you've asked for a full step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show it again. Don't top up more than $10. If you forget to shut down your pod, that amount might be lost. So let's stay on the safe side. Now, go to the Pods tab, click Deploy, and choose a recommended GPU like L40, L40S, or RTX 4090. Avoid the 5090 for now due to current driver issues. Scroll to the Template section and select the one I shared on Patreon. It's already configured for the High Dream model. Once the pod is running, open Logs. You'll see the model and several text encoders downloading. High Dream is large, so give it up to 20 minutes to finish. When it's ready, hit Connect and open port 3020 for Comfy UI, or port 8888 for Jupyter if needed. In Comfy UI, close the Welcome tab and open the Workflows folder. Select the High Dream full workflow. It's fully pre-configured and ready for prompting. The High Dream model handles prompts really well. It uses four text encoders, so even complex ideas are interpreted accurately. The Positive Prompt green node is the node you can prompt. In the workflow High Dream Full, you will notice an instruction board called Sampling Settings in the corner. In it, you can read the recommended settings for various forms. This template contains only High Dream Full and High Dream Dev. I did not include High Dream Fast. You can read that High Dream Full supports negative prompts, but High Dream Dev doesn't. Now let's generate our red-haired influencer. Once the image appears, you'll notice very good structure, accurate body proportions, correct number of fingers, and a lot of visual details that reflect your prompt. Still, it might look plastic. That's a common issue. If you encounter a memory error, especially on RTX 4090 cards, you'll need to reset your pod. This happens when the config UI crashes due to VRAM overflow. Go into the pod's dashboard, and if memory is at 100%, just restart the pod. Change the load diffusion model weight D-type to something lighter, like FP8E4M3FN... This reduces memory usage and helps avoid generation crashes. 
This issue typically affects RTX 4090S. If you're using an L40 card, you likely won't have these problems. So here's the thing. While HiDream is excellent for capturing context and generating strong base images, especially full body shots, it struggles with photorealism. That's why we move on. Fun fact. Did you know that cats can recognize their own name but often choose to ignore it? Just like a high dream model ignoring realism in favor of vibes. Unless you upscale it with flux, of course. Step 2. Go back to the Workflows folder and open the best upscaler workflow. This one uses the Flux Ultra Real Fine Tune model, which I introduced and recommended in the last course. The template is ready to go. Now choose the image you liked the most from the High Dream generation and plug it into the workflow. The default settings are already configured to analyze the image and enhance realism automatically using the FLUX model. Pay close attention to the strength value in the node apply control net node. It's set to 0.42 by default, which means that 58% of the original High Dream image is preserved, while 42% is enhanced by the ultra real fine tune model. You can adjust this value. Lower means stronger influence from flux. If you set it to 0%, the image will be fully regenerated by flux. I don't recommend that. Instead, use a range between 0.4 and 0.6 to achieve a good balance, keeping High Dream's original character while adding realism and detail with flux. Once your photo is upscaled, compare the High Dream base image with the upscaled version. The difference is huge. We go from plastic to detailed, photorealistic quality. To summarize, use High Dream to generate your base image. Open Best Upscaler, apply the Flux Ultra Real Fine Tune model and adjust the strength for the best result. This way, you get sharp, realistic images ready for further use, like training a LoRa. Speaking of LoRa training, I explained how to prepare the dataset from these images in the previous course. There's a link in the description. You can skip the GPT-related parts and jump straight into using the image-to-video model. And while I recommend this upscaling template, it's not the only way. Kling version 2.0 was recently released, and it also lets you generate character expressions or rotations quickly. It's a solid alternative for extracting frames and preparing datasets for LoRa training. To sum up, I don't think the Hydream model is particularly better or revolutionary. Maybe its next versions will improve. The Ultra Real model, which is flux type, is also loaded here, and it's part of the same template under text to image turbo workflow that I've prepared for you. In my opinion, it creates much better photos, more realistic, and with less of that plastic, strange aesthetic that High Dream has. It can also be upscaled in the same way as the High Dream model at the beginning. Step 3. Finally, let's go back to Jupyter Notebook. Open port 8888. The UI will load where we can access our file system. Navigate to the Come for UI folder, then to the Outputs folder where our image files are stored. Right click and you'll see the option Download as an archive. We can use this to download the entire folder with all our files before removing the pod. After you are done, don't forget to terminate the pod. I have a bonus for you. Recently, I added a quick template on my Patreon influenced by your numerous requests. It's a template for image manipulation using the Flux model, featuring in-painting, out-painting and more. This template loads quickly and includes everything you need for efficient manipulation with the Flux model, and it comes with my recommended Ultra Real Fine Tune model already loaded and ready for use. You can find everything on my Patreon. And that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, Make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. All the necessary links are in the description. See you soon. Hey!